Hey everyone, this is Colton Carnival with Fast Graphs, and in this video we're going to be going over the version 5.1 enhancements. So in version 5.1, there are two major enhancements. We have made changes to the snapshots and some big changes to the screening tool. And you'll be able to look at the timeline in the bottom of this video and skip through to the parts that you want to watch. So first of all, we're going to start off with the new snapshots. With the new snapshots, we have now made it where the entire company security app is available for you to use in the snapshot. And then you can easily open up a new tab by clicking this button, and it'll go to the tab that you are on in that snapshot in the company security app. So now you have full access to the company security app, easy access to it, or once again, in the snapshot, you have access to everything. The next major update is the screening tool. We have done a complete overhaul of the screening tool, and one thing you'll see is this show new version up at the top. The old screening tool is this, and we still currently have this available for you to use. But in order to access the new screening tool, all you need to do is click show new version. And you'll notice that the query builder has completely changed. If you click on and, this will add a new query, and your query builder is now a drawer on the right side of your screen. And as we go through this, you'll see all of the new functions of this. So let's go ahead and build a new query. For example, I can choose PE and notice now I have a query that is showing up top. Right here, it's showing what it's building. And I have some preset values so I can do something like between zero and seven and save this. And notice if I hover over it, it has an X so I can get rid of it or I could click on that again. Let me just add PE back. If I click on this again, it opens this up. So I have preset parameters. I can do positive, very low, so on. And once again, as we can see, it's building the query up top. I can do custom values. So I can do, I can type 15 if I wanted to and save this. I have greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, has any value or even a between value. And then finally, my new favorite feature that users have been asking for a long time is compare to metric. And I'll show you an example of where this is really useful. So I can have PE, so this is the current blended PE, and one thing I can do is less than or equal to, and when I click on that, a new search opens up, and I can come here and, for example, do the historical five-year normal PE. So this is now, the current PE is less than or equal to the five-year normal PE, meaning it's below the five-year blue line, which is a great new feature to have. So you can actually query this to see what stocks are trading less than the market has normally traded them as. And if I were to run this, this would show me all the stocks in the database that are equal to this. Now, I'm going to go to a pre-made screen that I've already created, and I have called it Good Growth. And here you'll see a way more built out query up top. So this is easier to read. You can also drag and drop these and put them in different orders so you can reorganize it. So whatever you like to read it as. And in this, I have region is United States and the exchange is non-OTC. I have adjusted earnings persistency score greater than or equal to 70. PE is less than or equal to the five-year normal PE. Also, the PE is less than or equal to the 10-year normal PE. So I've set two bands that I want it less than or equal to. So, you know, stocks that are trading less than those valuations. Then I also have an EPS growth rate greater than or equal to 10. I also have this parameter here. I just want to set all PE ratios greater than or equal to zero, right? And then I also have estimated annualized rate of return is greater than the EPS growth rate. So that's basically a way of showing undervalued stocks that is saying that i want my return to be greater than or equal to what the earnings are going to be growing at and then finally also through this in so quarterly price return is greater than or equal to zero so i'm filtering for stocks that are at least have some sort of a positive return over the last quarter and notice that has given me 21 results here and then one thing that we're actually going to see is the new use of the snapshot here Notice that if I click on this, this allows me to quickly audit the screen and whatnot. If I click on this snapshot, I am now in this screen called Good Growth, and I can quickly go through these stocks. And I can go to my forecasting tabs, and once again, I have everything here that 
I need. And if I wanted to open this up in a new tab, I totally can. I can even add to a portfolio from here. This account I have doesn't have portfolios, but once again, I have all of the features that you're used to having in the company and security app. Then finally, the last major change that we've made to the screening tool is that you can now add views to your screening tool. So it used to be where you could only have the parameters that you selected in the screen available down here. Well, now these parameters I selected are available in this table, and that's this base screen, but I've also created views for income, growth, and valuation that I can click on it, and it's the same results that this query built, but now I have different items that I can look at. So I can look at a dividend yield based on incomes, and then I have dividend compound annual growth rates and average growth rates on here for me to view. I can also look at some growth rates. So in this view, I made a EPS growth rate view so I can analyze what companies are growing the fastest or the slowest, even negative in this screen, and so on. And then, you know, this also lets me potentially modify this screen up here a little bit more. And then valuation. I can even look at this valuation one that I created. So this is just looking at PE ratios and comparing it to the normal PE ratios that we've had in the past for these stocks. So that's basically it. A couple new, very powerful features we are introducing to you guys. We are super excited to release this. We're super excited to hear your feedback on all of this.